Hey guys, Elpaka77 here and welcome back to episode 2 of Chupo Moting's Road to 100 Goals. So last episode you saw me start off the series with 2 games played and 5 goals scored. Some really nice goals as well, but in this episode there's some even nicer goals and we head into the first game here. And you'll see that I end up against this random bronze slash silver English squad. You'll see it coming up here as my upcoming opponent. And it's got Heskey up front because of he because it's Heskey. It's got Defonso at centre forward because of the pace. And then there's a few other other nice bronzes there. And there's also Barkley as the centre mid. And you'll see, as, as I mentioned in the last video, that I concede very, very early on in plenty of the games that I play. And then end up coming into the game much later. So you'll see that you would have seen that he's already won it up after a couple of minutes and then at 11 minutes he ends up scoring a second goal and ends up pretty much embarrassing me with Heskey there and at this point I thought this was going to be completely embarrassing I thought this video was just going to be full of him scoring goals but I did get incredibly lucky just before half time passed it to me did a few nice skills of Chu promoting and ended up firing it right into the top corner there a re another really nice finish in Chu promoting most of these goals are all really nice finishes you'll see his dribbling is very very nice it's very smooth and a great finish there at 62 minutes I make a great start to the next half and then decides to just go on a nice run there ends up going past a few defenders and Chu promoting finishes it very very easily and the comeback is complete I have got back to 2-2 with Chu promoting his seventh goal of the series in in the third game, and a very nice finish into the far corner. Ended up getting another goal here and taking the lead in the 69th minute. Quite lucky, really. Ended up scoring with a header, and luckily it was also Chu promoting, so added to his goal tally, and that is now eight. And right before the end of the match, at 88 minutes, gets through and scores another goal of the game. I think it's his fourth goal of this game, and ends up running through. I nearly did make a mistake. He did look like he was going to bring his keeper out, so I was tempted to chip him. But I did, in the end, decide to just smash it into the far corner. So this game finishes 4-2. Chu promoting with all the goals, with all the goals, and currently nine goals in three games, so an average of three goals a game. So we head into the second match now, and may as well do another match in this episode and end up against this random gold squad there, you probably didn't see it very very much but it was just a random gold squad and it wasn't too great to be honest, he did have a goalkeeper in Guzan and I start off very very well after in the second minute or nearly the third minute Chu promoting does a few nice skills, stops there, steps over the ball and then a nice finesse shot into the far corner doesn't stop there though at the fifth minute, Chu promoting gets played in again I can't remember who that's, I think it's by Arnold, and a nice chip over the keeper, a really, really nice finish, and that makes it 11 for him for the series. In the 48th minute, uh, it, does, it takes me until the second half to start scoring again, and this is a proper skill run here by Chu promoting. End up going around, all his defenders completely destroy him, and a great finish in off the post, past Brad Guzan. I didn't, I didn't really know how many goals I'd score in this game, as goalkeepers, they're either really, really good, or they're not really noticeable, and in this game, at the moment, Guzan isn't really noticeable and Chu promoting is taking advantage of that and scoring some really nice goals. So in the 57th minute, I don't think Chu promoting ends up getting a goal, but Flum ends up getting the ball, centre defence in mid, and a nice finish from outside the box into the far corner, and that carries on the goal scoring. In the 60th minute, I thought I'd try something different, I thought I'd try it, play it short and then play it back to Chu promoting for the finesse shot and he scores an absolutely ridiculous goal, probably the best goal of the series so far much like my Benteke finesse shot if you remember from last year a really really tight angle and absolutely incredible finish probably should have been saved but it's a really really nice goal how many times do you see goals like that being scored? I've not seen many goals like this at all this year and it's just an absolutely incredible finesse shot really shouldn't be scoring from there finesse shot off the outside of the, po off the post and it goes straight in and don't stop there in the 66th minute, Chu promoting, decide to go for the rainbow flick and again an absolutely incredible finish from about 30-40 yards there, a really nice rainbow flick and if the other goal, if the goal before wasn't good enough or if the goal before wasn't already good enough already then this goal is even better really, Guzan probably should have saved it but Chu promoting, he likes hitting the post in this game, I think it's the third time he hit the post in this game and scored and there you go, I think he scored, you see there, one, two, three, four, five goals in this game and ends up with 14 goals in, I think it's four games that have been played now. So that's 14 goals in three games, and that's at 14 goals in four games, and that's absolutely amazing. So a really, really great start. So there we go, guys. That is it for episode two of Chu promoting's Road to 100 Goals. He's currently at 14 goals in four games, which is an, a, a much better start than I was expecting. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give this a like, and thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.